Welcome back. You know, many parents don't realize their child should be seen by an orthodontist by age seven so that their child can avoid expensive corrections down the road. Back with how you can get a jump start on your child's dental health, we've got Dr. Nick Savistano and Chelsea Scott. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Yeah, you brought some cool displays here, and I think it's still <coughs> shocking uh, to parents watching right now. I know it was shocking to me. Age seven, that seems incredibly early from like, you know, what we grew up with. Right. We ideally want to see them at age seven. Okay. That's what the American Association of Orthodontics recommends for a couple of reasons. One is so we can monitor their jaw development, eruption of teeth. Sometimes there's habits, thumb habits, nail biting habits, mm -hmm. or just kind of monitoring any problem that may arise during that time. Okay. So when, when you go in at seven, is it, should we expect treatment right away or is it just kind of, I know it depends case by right. case, but just like a checkup that like down the road we might need I to do something? I would say 85 to 90% of the seven, eight year olds we see do not need treatment. Okay. We just put them on an observation program. Okay. So that's good to know, like a check-in, early check-in. And then Chelsea, some parents may think that their child <clears throat> is too young for it, you know. Are they too early? Is there a too early for treatment? Um, there's never a too early mm -hmm. time to come in because, you know, like you said, we can always just monitor the patient if they don't need treatment. Um, but a lot of times it is good to go ahead and do early treatment because you can um, prevent things like uh, TMJ issues, <clears throat> gum recession, and tooth wear if you go ahead and correct bite issues with the patient. Okay, and I have to ask because I know my seven-year-old, she <clears throat> is still losing teeth. She just lost one the other day. so. I always thought you had to wait until the baby teeth were gone, but you're saying that's not the case. Well, certainly most, most kids mm -hmm. get braces when they're 12, 13. Okay. But it is good to see an orthodontist around seven and eight mm -hmm. so we can look for underlying issues that we may need to treat early. Yeah, and we said in the beginning that might be a chance to like save money down the road from expensive treatments, like if you do it earlier. Yes. Well, for instance, you know, jaw surgery is something we, of course, want to avoid. Wow. And a lot of the appliances we use will um, fix the underlying jaw issues yeah. at an early age. Okay. And treatment has come a long way <laughs> since oh, yeah. I was a kid. <laughs> so I felt like I was in braces forever. You guys are much faster. Things are better. <laughs> yeah. How long is like the average? And again, it varies case by case, but the treatment process, what would you say? Well, for phase one treatment, like early treatment um, for a younger child, it can, <clears throat> it generally goes for about a year okay. and then after that we just kind of monitor the patient until they need phase two treatment. If they need phase two treatment later down the road, um, it's usually shorter if they've already done phase one because we've already fixed the major issues that mm -hmm. need to be corrected. Okay, prices. and I know you guys brought some models here. Kind of what are we looking at in some of these? Okay, well, essentially the first one on the far left over there is an expander. Look so at this one right here. Right there, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's for widening the upper jaw. The next one is a habit appliance. So okay. it looks like a little rake, kind of like a crib. What does that do? That's for kids who suck their thumb. Oh. By age eight, we really want to get their thumb out of there because it starts affecting the teeth. The next one is a holding arch, okay. which essentially is for if you lose a baby tooth early. Okay. So it'll hold that space. And then that next one is called a herpst. Um, that is for a severe overbite. And we that probably- That looks intense. It's, it's intense, yeah. but again, it is intense, but you're actually going to prevent, hopefully, the person from needing jaw surgery. Uh, so yeah. it, it, it's, you know, a little bit of a trade-off. Do that instead of the surgery, exactly. obviously. And then normally, if we're treating a seven, eight, nine-year-old, we're going to have some type of braces. So we call those partial braces. This particular set has shapes, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, the colored braces here, are really um, our standard braces that we use for, for most kids, yeah. regardless, regardless what age they and are. And you guys make it fun. You have a beautiful facility. You've got mascot braces. You've got all kinds of colors. Like, it's yeah. fun for kids who want to go there. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.